New happening today, legal fireworks will go on sale across California. You'll be able to buy them starting at noon through the 4th in certain cities like Sacramento. Not all rules are the same, and there are some new ones you should know about. So let's bring in ABC 10 Zach Fuentes. So Zach, a lot of places really want to crack down on fireworks this year. Well, that's right, Walt. That's because last year we saw a lot of fires that were caused by fireworks and improper use of them. So we have at least three cities in our area who have new ordinances in place that strengthen the way the fireworks laws are enforced. As Sacramento, Folsom, Citrus Heights adopting ordinances that would find not just the person or people using an illegal firework, but whoever is hosting a party where they're being used. Now, before the new ordinance, law enforcement officers had to actually see someone actively using illegal fireworks in order to cite them. But now the evidence of illegal fireworks can be enough and the citations can be issued through the mail. Now, the stand we're at this morning in Elk Grove is going to benefit the Vu Win Memorial Foundation. It awards scholarships to students interested in pursuing a life of public service service. It's all to honor the Sacramento Sheriff deputy who died in the line of duty in 2007. The board behind it are hopeful that sales will be steady and that people from other cities where fireworks aren't sold will help. Just want to keep um, the memory of him alive. I don't necessarily think that it's going to slow down. Now, a fine for illegal fireworks in Sacramento could cost you up to $2,500. And if you've been hearing fireworks in your neighborhood, local fire departments are making it easy for you to report them. They say you can download the Nail em app. When you report illegal fireworks use on that app, it can go straight to the fire department. You can upload audio, video, pictures to that app, and that will alert them. We have that information up right now at abc10.com links. Okay, Zach, thank you.